Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about another kit which was purchased with your help. So we got this Lockheed P38H Lightning from Tamiya in 148 scale. This is quite an unusual package to be honest because I was expecting a full color box but it's white box. I guess it is connected with the recent COVID situation so they were not able to print the normal box let's say so but we've got this kit with your help I was able to order it and now we are going to check it together because frankly speaking I was really interested in seeing this new P38 plastic I saw several reviews some guys were checking it but it's always interesting to check it by myself and of course this version is somewhat new so we are going to take a look together and First of all you can notice again that boxing is quite unusual for this brand. We have small image or side profile of this aircraft and that's pretty much all. It's just plain white box so I won't be showing size because there is no use in this let's say. Let's just open it straight away and see what is applied inside. It's a top opening box and now it's a bit of a tight fitment for this top lid. Okay so here it is. And here you can see that we have a small note about the special release. So I guess it will be some special version. If you know something about this variant, write it in the comment section below. Here on the opposite side we do not have anything, so they did not write anything additional. And of course this signature was pre-printed from what I can see, so my hopes for in vain let's say. Anyway, uh, then we have assembly manual, we have also all plastic sprues packed into separate plastic bags so we are going to check them one by one and see what is actually supplied here. So first of all I'm going to need a debonder. So where did I put it? Here it is. So this thing because as usual everything is closed on the staples so I'm going to use the debonder in order to open them quickly and avoid damaging my fingers as it happened uh, a long time before due to the lack of experience with such stuff. I was trying to open them with pair of fingers and then tada broken nails cut off skin and other stuff. By the way if you want to support our video reviews if you want me now, to be able to get more kits to be reviewed just like this one, just do a small donation please because it's really important to us, some of you already did and that's how we got this kit with your help and I really appreciate it, it helps us to see more different kits and of course improve quality of our 14 video reviews. So here you can see the first plastic sprue it is molded in this white gray plastic so I'm going to zoom in a bit let's open the lenses and now you should be able to see that here we have the lower fuselage section from what I can guess we also have pilot figure we have some cockpit parts here also control elements and everything looks pretty much okay we can zoom in so that you can see here we have instrument panels and cockpit floor together with cockpit walls here and again pilot figure with separate head you can notice note that head features nice features as well features nice features uh, here we continue with the fuselage section so here I have to close the camera a bit so that you can see uh, recessed panel lines and rivets on this part and if I flip it over here inside you can notice this really developed guiding structure which should help you with proper alignment. By the way in the pilot figure you can see that there is a special recess slot for the pilot seat and here are some other parts from the opposite side in case you are interested in seeing them and checking them what they look like from the opposite. Next we continue with another plastic bag so again I'm using the bonder in order to open it so just give me a second again it will take a small moment to remove both staples but it's not such a difficult task it's more of an annoying task and I mean it's also not a child safe I would say in case some children will be 
willing to build lightning surprisingly <laughs> still it will be a bit tricky to the, for them to open all this stuff maybe just to tear the bags apart that will solve it here we go on with another plastic sprue so let's zoom in let's open the camera and now you can see that here we have landing gear legs we also have air intakes we have another instrument panel I'm not sure why it is already like third part of the same type so we will see why it is like this so here we have two main landing gear legs here we have a nose part and they look really fine I mean I do not see any possible issues with them we can zoom in even more so that you can check all this stuff closer and all attachment points are thin enough in order to carefully separate this uh, stuff and I don't think you will have any issues with these parts. In case you are not fine with what you get here, as far as I remember Edward was offering bronze legs, which are way more impressive in their sturdiness let's say, but they cost extra money so if you are willing to spend a bit more, definitely go for them because it will benefit your model especially if you plan to use some resin accessories as well maybe PE parts maybe resin accessories still it will increase the weight of your model and therefore it's better to have something sturdy to stand on okay now I'm opening another plastic bag so just give me again a moment because here we get quite an interesting I would say molding design because here you can see we have a top wing half molded together with the fuselage section so I guess another fuselage section will be covering it from the top maybe and what else is interesting again we have recessed panel lines and rivets whole wing mechanization looks like molded separately and if you flip it over here inside you can see that we have a lot of guiding elements and of course these thick lines should also help you with the um, sturdiness of this assembly because it's quite a big wing in 148 scale even I can't even imagine this aircraft in 130 second scale my friend was saying that he got recent release I don't remember the brand to be honest but he got it in 130 second scale and I mean I'm not even sure where I would place such beast and even 148 looks like it will take some space next we continue with another plastic sprue and here we have this tail parts molded together with engine gondolas and also with tail wings or tail fins let's close the camera a bit also here we have wing mechanization front slats, ailerons and nose cone is molded if we can call it so it is molded separately which is really cool because you will be able to install it and avoid any seams in such notable areas so that's a definite plus here we go on with another set of landing gear legs so definitely we will have to check the assembly manual because I'm not sure what is going on here and here inside we have guiding elements for joining these two halves together which is with each other so that's also quite a cool feature because parts are really big and you definitely need this um, design in order to get them together next another plastic bag another double of staples so just give me a moment to remove them Okay, one, here is the second. So we have here a small bag with polycaps. I won't be showing it because it's just polycaps, so there is no need to waste our time on it. And um, instead we are going to start with this thing. So here we have a tail wing, propellers, and also some parts for engine gondolas, one piece pilot seat, and everything looks quite impressive. I mean if we zoom in now you should be able to see that overall molding quality is really clean so I do not see any possible issue even with uh, small parts we have nice recessed panel lines here so it's also plus and of course all these minor panels are also nicely detailed if we flip it over inside you can notice that again we get 
some guiding elements which will help us with proper position of these parts but this tail wing it is molded as a single piece part which is really cool because it will help you avoid any unnecessary seams on this element next we go on with two identical plastic frames so I'm going to open it right now just give me a sec from what I can guess we get there few tanks and also some parts for engine gondolas uh, some parts for landing gear and for propellers as well you'll see it in a second so basically all parts which come in double on this aircraft they are supplied on these two identical plastic frames okay so let's remove this one and let's continue with this one here you can see as I said few tank halves also we have some parts for landing gear wheels so each wheel should be assembled out of two parts and frankly speaking I would rather replace them straight away with resin from Edward because it will be a nicely detailed part and it will be a noticeable upgrade so if you are willing to spend a bit more just get the brassine upgrade install it on your aircraft and you will be pleased with the result but other than that I do not see any possible problems here everything looks nice and if you flip it over of course inside few tanks we have some guiding elements the same can be said about this landing gear wheels so there is no surprise in that I mean it was quite expected feature next we continue with clear plastic sprue again I'm opening the staples okay and straight away I can say that there is a interesting bonus included but I can guess that it was also included in the previous version as well the G version so if you have it in your stock or your collection you will be able to understand what I'm talking about if not you will see it in a few seconds because now we are going to check this clear plastic sprue let's zoom in a bit so here we have clear parts and they look really nice, I mean I don't have anything to complain about this. And I hope there are masks included because usually 148 kits from Tamiya include them out of the box. Of course you will have to cut them because that's also typical Tamiya feature but other than that there are no possible issues with clear parts and of course you will be able to open the cockpit on your model. Next we have last grey plastic sprue, so again I'm going to battle with paper clips one and then the second okay so we take it out as well and here it is so from what I can see we have really detailed skeleton of this aircraft all this stuff will be placed inside. Let's close the camera so that it won't be that bright. Okay, now you should be able to see that we have also landing gear wheels for the nose section. Also we have some parts for nose wheel wells and main wheel wells which are placed in each, each engine gondola. From what I can understand there are no engines included into this aircraft so if you would like to copy it you will have to resort to some aftermarket resin, maybe Edward if you would like to. But I mean for out of the box build all this stuff looks really nice and I hope it will be easy to combine together as well. Next we have a um, small thing glued into the box. I won't be removing it because I want to show it also on the photo review so here you can see oh oh let's close the camera even more so here you can see metal balls which will be placed in the nose section from what I can guess so that you won't get tail sitter out of this aircraft next we go on with another plastic bag here we have decals sheet and also masks so tada masks are included which is really cool because it will simplify work and in case you don't want to spend extra that will actually save you some money and maybe you will be able to get resin wheels instead.
Okay, so let's remove all this stuff. I finally opened this plastic bag. So, here it is, first decal sheet. Let's open the camera, zoom in. And as I said, first decal sheet, it is quite typical printing quality for Tamiya. And we have even some dials for the instrument panel. And everything looks fine, but be careful, they might be a bit on the thick side. And of course you can copy these yellow sections with masks. So in case you would like to get a bit more convincing finish on your aircraft, definitely go for masks and airbrushing. And next we go on with another decal sheet. Here we have a bit more interesting stuff. Because you can see that Tamiya provides meshes for air intakes. We also have some chrome decals for uh, side view mirrors as far as I remember. Correct me if I'm wrong. Here we continue with some uh, dials for instrument panels. We have also seat belts and we have seals for the canopy. We also have here a shark mouth. Of course all the stencils because it's a 148 scale kit. And everything looks quite nice so nothing to mention here and as I said it should be okay for out of the box build and one more is mask and sticker so it is not pre-cut so if you would like to apply it you have to use sharp knife cut through it and then glue all these things on the clear parts so be ready for this as well next we continue with color printed painting guide which is provided as a large poster and in my opinion it looks really cool it might be even a nice poster on your wall so let's zoom out a bit okay now you should be able to see that here we have this one and only marking option but we had some shark mouths so it's really interesting where they will go because here we have another one and it's a bit different marking option so two marking options in total and that's all. Okay. And next we have this Tech Tips brochure which is also a standard bonus for Tamiya. And one more thing is assembly manual which is printed in black and white. I really hope that Tamiya will start printing the assembly manuals in color because it will bring a bit more interesting styling to their brochures but from the other side it's classic format so it's more of a neat picking here we continue with assembly process which starts with the cockpit so here you can see the instrument panel it's only one part chosen there are no other options so I guess all previous options were from the um, G version which was released before so here we continue with cockpit installation onto this wing section which we saw on the first sprue. Then we continue with various panels which will be installed on the wing mainframe. And here you can see this metal ball placement in the nose area from what I can see. That's the nose machine guns installation process. So you have to cut some connecting points, don't forget about it because without it, it won't be fitting into the right spot. Here you continue with some panels which get attached over the fuselage and next we continue with some identification lights which were placed in the middle of aircraft obviously. Here we continue do not follow the instructions, that's why I'm confused. So it's interesting that these instructions are omitted just by darkening them a bit and then providing the next step which is working for this particular version. Here you can see aileron installation and it should be glued out of two parts. That's quite an interesting thing. But parts design is done in such a way that you won't have any seams because as you can see the trailing edge is molded on the lower part. Here we continue with turbochargers, then we install them on the engine gondolas. Next we continue with ride boom assembly. Next step involves main winding gear bay. And as you can see it will be also quite nicely detailed. I guess if you will get some aftermarket P for example from Edward it will be even more impressive detailed so think about it. 
Next we continue with left boom assembly. So basically you repeat the same thing again and don't forget about metal balls placement in the nose or front area so that again you won't have a tail sitter. Here we continue with tail surfaces, uh, landing gear assembly and next we continue with landing gear covers. As you can see they are also assembled out of several pieces in order to provide this internal detailing I guess. Here we have a few tanks, several types and next is attaching the fuselage underside some small parts as you can see here and there. Next we continue with the radio station which gets installed pilot seat on the last step. That's really interesting sequence for Tamiya. Next we continue with pilot figure then we have masks guide for the canopy and basically the whole canopy will be covered with these masks so don't forget to cut it. And next we continue with gun side and front canopy. Here we install them into this place and next we have two options for the closed or open canopy. Here we have also propellers assembly. That's where you will use polycaps so that you have rotatable propellers. I'm still not sure why you would need such feature on a scale model kit. And next you install these propellers on the aircraft and that's pretty much all. So 53 steps in total. And here we have some tips on painting and applying decals. So this kit should be already available, you can get it in any good model shop, but I would like to thank you for this kit. And of course if you would like to support us even more, we have a donate button on our website and we have a join membership here, which gives you some benefits as well, such as free kit every month for example. And of course I will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!